What is going on today, my smartwatch lovers? Today we are taking a look at the Moto 360 second generation. The first thing you guys are going to notice when you go from the first gen to the second gen is these little pieces right here. I actually don't know the specific name for them, but it's where the band connects to the watch, so it's not directly onto the watch face, which I kind of like. It gives it more of a you know real watch look to it. I have the screen it's currently set to always on, so it will stay basically always on. You can set it to where it'll only go on where you press the button, which I do like because it conserves battery life a lot. But if you want, you know, it'll probably last about, you know, like 75% of your day just like this on always on. You know, it depends on your usage as well. Um, it's gotten me through almost two days uh, where it automatically turns off. That's why I like the ambient sensor because it'll turn off and it'll go on as soon as you, you know, hit daylight and it dims the screen. All fun stuff like that. Stuff that is really good to have in a smartwatch. The screen is a very sharp display. I really like the screen on it. And it actually has good battery life for that screen. You know, sometimes you have to have a lower res screen to get better battery life. But they actually did a very good job with that. So let's go over how you basically use this watch. So, no swiping left. Swipe right. You get all these apps, your settings, all the shortcuts to the apps on your phone. Swipe again. You get all your contacts. Um, you can also do this from the watch screen. So if you just have it on your wrist and you just press the button, you say, OK, Google. OK, Google, and you can give it a command. So that's a very something very cool. You can say text or call. You know, the same thing you do on any other device with Google. If you swipe up, it'll give you all your notifications for navigation, Gmail, how far you are away from home. So now that you know obviously everything about the watch, let's go right into the watch faces. So you can go right here and tap and hold. Sometimes it gives me a little bit of trouble. And then you have all these watch faces to choose from. You can always change it. So now let's head right into the app. So we're going to leave the watch right here. And we're going to jump right into my phone. So let's open my phone right now. We have navigation going. I was trying to set it to see if it would go through my watch. And it actually went through pretty well. And it was pretty awesome. So let's go right into it. And you're going to see Android Wear app. You can download it. The watch will tell you to download it. And then as you can see right here, it says Moto360 Connected. It tells you all the watch faces. You can change the watch face right here. Um, to anything you kind of want. I downloaded a couple. Just to give it a little more customization, you have essential apps. You could change the app settings in here. What what was like, which music, when you say play music, you know, I changed it to Spotify instead of Google Play Music. So cool things like that. And there also is a watch face and app, um, watch face and watch app app for Android. So you can get it and it shows you basically all the apps and stuff that is compatible with the watch, which is really nice. So I really overall love this watch. This watch is pretty amazing. I went over from a Pebble to the Motorola. So it is a big jump from, you know, an e-reader screen to a full AMOLED display with all notifications. And I really like it. You know, I thought the battery life was going to be bad and I wasn't going to enjoy it as much as I do, but it is pretty useful. And it does fit really well. Um, the only thing I would say is I had one link taken out, and I do have pretty small wrists. So if you do have a like a very big wrist, I don't know if this watch might fit you because it didn't come with extra links. Uh, I had to have one link taken out. So I don't know if you can add more links that you don't have unless you buy them aftermarket. I'm not sure about that, so don't hold it against my will. But that is my review of the Moto 360. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll let you guys know my thoughts and all my th what I think of the watch overall. So I would definitely give this a 4.5 out of 5 for the smartwatch category. You know, it has almost everything that a smartwatch should have in this category. The only thing I did wish it would have is, you know, obviously a better battery life, just like we'd wish on every other watch. And that is just about it for this watch. This watch is almost nearly perfect for the watch. It has a price tag of $299 with the metal band. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Did I already say like? But like it twice, you know, because once isn't enough, so like it twice. Yes, go like it.